Hi everyone. Today we have a class yeah about the number systems. Let's go and see what type of systems we have. We know we use the number from 0 to 9 in writing any number in our daily basis. This is what we call it the decimal. So the decimal has 10 numbers from 0 to 9, so the base is 10 for the decimal. The next one, we know the binary, which from the name, it means has two numbers. Yeah, 0 and 1, so our base is 2. The third one is octal. It's sharing the decimal with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so it it is uh, similar to the decimal in its value uh, from 0 to 7. So the basic here is 8. The last one in our systems, hexadecimal. So yeah, it share with the decimal with the first 10 numbers from 0 to 9. And how you complete the 16 numbers? With you complete it with the uh, alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F. This is why A corresponded to 10, B corresponded to 11, C is 12, D 13, E 14, F 15. So from 0 to F uh, are 16 digit. So we use uh, the base 16. Now, how we can write the decimal? as yeah by using the the base of the decimal yeah we can write this number as this one so the first one you consider you have uh, a note of one dirham so you can multiply by one one is 10 to the power zero just to write uh, in terms of base 10 and the second place here yeah, is every unit corresponding to tenth so Corresponding to you have two notes of 10 dirham, so you multiply 2 by 10 to the power 1, you have 20. And the third one in the 100 places, so you, you have note of 100, which is 10 to the power 2. So you have five notes, you multiply 5 times 10 to the power 2. The last one in the 1,000th place, so you multiply by 3 by 1,000, 1,000 in written as a base of 10 is 10 to the power 3. This is how to write it in... Uh, yeah, what about if you have decimal place? You can do the same, but after the decimal place, you start by multiplying the negative power of 10. Okay, so the one here, it means 0.5 alone, it will be 5 over 10, which is 5 to 10 to the minus 1. If you have 7 here, and you have nothing here, you have 0 0.7, 0 0.07, which is 7, out of 100, so 7 times 10 to the minus 2. This is how to write the decimal as a base of 10. Yeah, let's go for the binary. We know 1 and 0, it has a base 2. You can write any binary as a base of 2, like this one, and you can change it into decimal. So this is exactly what you are going to do. Okay, so the first place here, is times 2 to the power 0, okay? And the second one here, 2 to the power 1, third one, 2 to the power 2, etc. right? The last one here is 1 times 2 to the 6. So this is how to change from binary to decimal. Now, if you have 4,215 and in a base of 10, how you can write it as a binary, yeah, this is an easy way to do. You just take the number, divide it by 2 each time, because you would like to change it into binary, so you have to divide it by the base of the binary. You are not interested about the result of the division. You are interested about the remaining of the division, because this is odd number. So when you divide it by 2, the remaining is 1, etc. with this one, with this one. But this one is even. So when you divide it by 2, the remaining will be 0, right? 
Okay. And you can do the same without making the division, but you have to do to do the division to reach, yeah, to reach this one, right? Okay. Now how I can write the result? You go from down to up, yes, to write this one. So if you go from down to up, you start from what? Left to right. But if you make the opposite, you have to start from the opposite way as well. Okay. This is a, a table give you the corresponding values of uh, the, the decimal by the binary values, right? Okay. What does it mean? Uh, MSB it most significant digit because the the biggest one I mean, and this one is the least significant digit. So you write the least significant digit here and. Here is that before this one, but if you start from the left, you have to start from the most significant digit. Similar to the base, we know this one is bigger than this one, is bigger than this one. This is what we call it uh, MSB and LSB. Now, if you have a decimal fraction like this one, it will be exactly the same in the binary when you but the name of the point is in the decimal, we call it decimal point, but the point in the uh, binary system, we call it floating point. Okay? How you do this one? Take your fraction, multiply it by two, take the result, see the integer, write it here, take the fraction, write it here, and then take the fraction, multiply it again by two, take the integer, Okay, and write the fraction here. Take the fraction, multiply it by two, take the integer, okay? And write the fraction is zero. Once you reach zero, you have to stop. Now, you go from up to down, you write from left to right. Okay, be careful with this one. Just a little bit. What about if I have integer with decimal fraction. Yeah, I know the decimal fraction, how to do it. Okay, and before we do the integer by dividing by two, so you can do this one into two section. We start with 56 and dividing by two. As we said, we are not interested about the result, we are interested about the remaining. This is even, so the remaining zero, this is even, remaining zero, this is even, is remaining zero, this is odd, the remaining should be one, the remaining of the odd, when you divide it by two is one as well. Once you reach this one, you have to stop, right? Now we finish the integer part. You can write it from, yeah. So I can write this one, this part as one, yeah. As we said, this is, uh, the most significant, this is the lowest significant, right? So we can write it from left to right. Now we go to the fraction, we do the same as we have done with this fraction. As I said, you take the fraction, multiply it by two, write the integer, take the, the fraction, multiply it again by two, and take the integer. Once you reach zero in the fraction, uh, you, can, you can stop, right? Now we have this one, Go from down to left. So we can write from left to right. So notes the integer you go, yeah, from down to up to right, from left to right. In the fraction, you go from up to down, opposite to the integer, and also we go from left to right. So we go to left to right in both of them, but in the integer, we write from down to up. In the fraction, we write from up to down. Be careful with this one. Now, let's go for the next system, number systems, which is octal and hexadecimal. Why we are not satisfied with decimal and binary, and that's it. No, 
Because remember, if you have this number, if you would like to write it in uh, binary, you write it as 12 binary digits. I will leave it for you to check. But if you write it as hexadecimal, you write it only with the three digits. If you would like to try it as octal, you write it as four. This is the advantages of the hexadecimal and octal, and this advantages for uh, binary, which take uh, more space. Don't worry, it is simple to convert them to binary and vice versa. Now, let's go for the first example. If we have this one, once you have a letter, it means you are in the hexadecimal, right? Because you have uh, the first 10, similar to the decimal, and the six, the other six is alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, right? Okay, this is table uh, gave you, ah, up to here, you are agree with the hexadecimal, right? But after the nine, A corresponding to 10, B 11, as we said before, right? Now, yes, I go for A, I know it is corresponding to 10, one. So how we can write this one? We start here with the base to the power zero, and here the base to the power one, etc. So you start from the right with the power zero or for the base, whatever the system you are going to use. Yeah. So A corresponding to 10. So I got 10, I multiply by six to the power zero. One is corresponding to one, I multiply by six to the power one. Finish, add them together, it will be 26. Now, go for this one. Two corresponding to two, as we said, A corresponding to 10, three corresponding to three. So I go from the left, three with the unit of the base to the power zero. And the second one, the base to the power one, the third one multiplied by the base to the power two. Okay, now add them together, you will have the corresponding decimal, which is 419. Now, let's have binary to hexadecimal, right? Here, if you have a binary, you have to slice it into pieces. Each piece has four binary digits, right? Okay. Now, after you slice it, each group into four digits, right? What you are going to do, if, yeah, if you said, if I, I, I finish with uh, three binary digits, what I can do? You can place zeros at the left if needed, because it doesn't make any difference when you add zeros to the left in the binary system, right? Okay. Step two, replace each group of four digits by the corresponding hexadecimal digit from this table, right? Good. Let's go for the first example to change binary into hexadecimal. As we said, he gave it to me, this one. I group it into four. I'm lucky because I have 12 uh, binary digits, so I have three fours. Okay. Now let's go for the first one to the right, one, zero, one, one. What is it? This is a one. It is corresponding to what? Uh, sorry, <laughs> uh, one, zero, one, one. This is a one. Sorry, not this one. I'm sorry. Next, this one. Yeah, you said this is one, one. I had told you if you add zeros, no problem with the binary. Okay. So when I'm writing this table, I didn't write 0011. It is the same, you know. You have to know uh, adding zeros to the left in the binary doesn't make any difference, right? Now, the last one. Okay, how you can get the values? Yeah, I'm writing the values of each one. Okay, into hexadecimal. So I have. This 12 binary digits can 
change into how many digits in the hexadecimal? Only four hexadecimal digits. This is the advantage of the hexadecimal. Okay. Now, let's go for the next one. Yeah, we are not lucky because we have only 10. So we add these two zeros, which doesn't make any difference in the binary when you add to the left zeros. Okay, I know the result right now. How I can get this result? Yeah, let's go for the, the table. Yeah, okay. I got this binary. And then check. Yeah, the corresponding hexadecimal. Yes. Yeah, this is how to get the binary into hexadecimal very easily, right? Okay. Now, how to change binary into octal? I told you in the beginning, the octal agree with the decimal in the first seven digits of the decimal, okay? And we know how the, the decimal into binary is the same as the octal into binary uh, from zero to seven. Good. Again, I'm just reminding you, adding zeros to the left in the binary doesn't make any difference for the binary number. Okay, let's go this one. Remember the table? Yes. Oh. No, this time to change from binary to octal, you have to slice or group it, the binary into group with three digits, three binary digits. But in the hexadecimal, you slice the binary into group of four binary digits. Remember this one? Okay. Now, you know, each uh, binary of this one corresponding to this value, Okay, so how you can write this one? You said, I don't have enough zeros here. I told you, you can add more zeros to the left to make three just to be uh, transformed to uh, oct. Okay, so I'm writing this one as a base of eight, which is an octal, right? Now, Binary to octal again, but this time with a floating, floating point. How can change it? Slice it into group of three. Uh, yeah, I add zero to the left here to make three, right? I'm writing the, the note again, just to remember adding zero to the left and the binary doesn't make any difference. Okay. This is from your table. You write the floating point corresponding to the floating point and write the number, corresponding numbers in the octal, right? So we have 26153 and the floating point 744, right? This is how to change a binary to octal with a floating point. Now we have Octal, we would like to transfer it into binary. Okay. Yeah. You can write the six in the hexadecimal corresponding to group of three binary digits. So I know the six is this one, seven is this one, three is this one. If you don't know or you don't have a table, you can divide the six by uh, two and you are interested about the remaining, so the remaining is zero because it's even. But when you divide this one, you have three. When you, three is odd. When you divide it by two, the remaining is one. And when you're dividing the one by uh, two, the remaining is one. This is how to change from uh, decimal into binary, right? Or from octal to binary. If we don't have, we didn't write zero here because it is easy to remember this one. Now, yep, I got this one and I'm writing the, the corresponding uh, uh, binary, okay? So I wrote it down from left to right, okay?
This is a practice for you. You can go back to the video for the section you, you are not sure about how to solve these uh, questions. And wish you all the, the best. Thanks for watching. See you next time with mathematics operation in number system, such as adding, subtracting, multiplying. Okay, thank you.